going, everybody? Justin here from Budget Barbecue. Thanks for tuning in. It is early. Sorry, I'm not totally awake yet. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, but I'm so excited because this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Today is Packer Brisket Day. But as promised, here on our channel at Budget Barbecue, we do things on a budget. So, this has been a long time waiting because I've been waiting to find a good deal on a brisket. So the other day we were shopping in the next town over and uh, found this brisket on sale at, I believe it was $2.79 a pound. Total came to about $32 for this brisket. Um, it's a little on the smaller side, but um, we, so it was a total of about, again, about $32 for the whole brisket. It's choice. Um, so we're definitely not dealing with any uh, Wagyu, Low Bells, specialty products here. But again, we're working on a budget. So uh, in any event, super excited to get this started. I got my fire pit going here. I got the smoker heating up. So uh, I'm going to bring you back in. I already did the trimming. Everybody's seen how to trim a brisket. Um, it's all seasoned up, ready to go. Left it sitting overnight in the fridge with the seasoning on it. So... Once I get everything up to temp, we get the brisket out here, I'll bring you all back. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got the brisket going this morning. Uh, I'll show you that here in just a second. I just wanted to let you know we're also going to be doing a, uh, a rub review. It's going to be on the John Henry's Texas Brisket Rub. Um, I also added a little bit of the John Henry's Bubba's Rub just as... Um, I tasted it the other night on some chicken, and to me it was kind of more of an all-purpose seasoning, sort of like the Killer Hogs AP Rub or the Barbecue Pit Boys um, SPG that they always refer to. So um, I did a light dusting of that on the brisket. I did a light coating of Worcestershire sauce before I put the light rub on, and then we did some heavy coating of this. So. Let me flip the camera around, show you the smoker here, and uh, I'll show you the brisket we got the other day. Again, this is budget barbecue here. You know, this isn't going to be a fancy cut or a big, thick, juicy cut, but uh, this is a budget cut, and uh, I'm super excited. So let's go over to the bar to the uh, smoker here, and let's check it out. All right, everybody. So this is our brisket here, nice and seasoned up, ready to go. Looking forward to some good bark on that here. Um, again, I just have my couple of thermometers here. One, uh, this one over here is for the temp inside the smoker itself. This one here is going to be our internal temp for the brisket here. Let me just close this down because I don't think I've ever kind of really even shown you the smoker before. Uh, this is the Oklahoma Joe. Um, we did get this for a pretty good deal. I believe it was at Walmart actually. And I believe we got this for, if I remember correctly, around 150 bucks. So um, I have done a couple modifications to it, as you can see around the side. Uh, down here, you can see the little red stripping that we did to kind of help seal it off. Um, one thing you can notice on this that I'm not very happy about, but nonetheless, the, the uh, sliding door there to kind of regulate the temps doesn't stay open on its own anymore. So I've kind of had to use a special tool there to kind of keep it open but um overall this you know this grill had or this smoker has um served me well it's a good starting pit um we also did put some uh tape around the edge of the door and the fire door to kind of keep the smoke in as you can see i don't have a lot of if we look around here there's not a lot of you know smoke leaks that you can see anywhere got a nice good smoke coming off the coming off the chimney stack there so again overall this is a pretty pretty nice pit but uh it's a good way to start my sunday just enjoying the fire pit here as always i do appreciate everybody tuning in this is going to be a long cook so i'll check in periodically show you how we're doing um it's about 5 30 in the morning we just got the brisket on so we'll uh we'll check back after a little bit show you how we're doing all right everybody so we've been on for just about an hour now temp is uh the Smoker has settled in real nice, right around that 250 mark. Uh, we are using mesquite wood today. Um, also going to be using, uh, this is my sprayer bottle. I know this is normally used for gardening things. This is food safe because it's been used only for that. So uh, we're going to open up the pit here. We'll take the first look at the brisket. 
We're gonna give it a little spritz. This is actually a mixture of um, Dale's seasoning and marinade. I also kind of concentrated or watered it down. Um, it did have quite a bit of salt and sodium to it, so I don't want to over salt the brisket. But here is our first look after being on for about an hour. I'm gonna do a little spray here. Last thing I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna take some of this and put it in my drip pan underneath so we kind of get some moisture going in here. But uh, overall, very happy with everything. As you can kind of see in the back, you're probably wondering what that little uh, clothespin is for. That is actually holding the, um, the temp probe for my pit temperature thermometer, which is sitting out here. So in any event, this is where we're at. We'll see you after a little bit. All right, everybody. So we're about a little over three hours into the cook here. And I wanted to give you a quick look at the brisket. And then I did mention earlier some modifications that I made to the smoker. I wanted to point those out to you really quick. We're actually getting ready to head out to church. So I'm just making sure temps are going to hold good until we get back. Um, but I wanted to show you this really quick. So let's jump over to the grill or to the smoker and I'll show you what's going on there. All right. So you can kind of see the felt lining here um, that we kind of put around the trim of the smoker. Um, and that's kind of to just help seal in the smoke really well, make sure we're not losing a lot of smoke through the process here. Um, again, we're about three and a half hours in. We're at 140 internal on the brisket at the moment. Give you a quick look here. That's what she be looking like. So super excited to see how she turns out. We'll check back after we get back from church. everybody so we just got home from church uh, gonna give a quick check on the brisket here I did have to kind of stoke the fire back up again a little bit but uh, looks like we're up and going so let's take a look at the thermometer and then we'll open up the box and uh, see what it looks like let's turn around and check it out all right everybody so as you can see we've been on the smoker for about five and a half hours uh, we're at 142 internal uh, temps have definitely slowed down as far as the cooking is concerned but uh, that's okay. I'm not rushing anything here. We're just letting it letting it do its thing. So uh, there we have the beautiful brisket. Um, definitely got more smoke going right now than I would like. Um, you know, that's kind of my challenge with the stick burner is, uh, you know, getting that regulated so I get the, the nice light smoke and not too much. But uh, right now it's a little more than I would like. Came down a little bit. We're sitting at right about 250. It has kind of balanced itself out, so we'll check back in a little bit. Well, as you can see by the picture and by my face, the day and the sun got away from me. I apologize, you know, for the end of this video here. Um, definitely got the brisket all done, as you can see. Very tender, very good. Um, you know, if I had to critique myself, I would definitely say it needs to stay in the cooler next time a little bit longer. Um, I got a little impatient wanting to try it out, see how it did. Uh, the overall cook, we were in there for just about nine and a half hours, um, to get it totally done. 
the as far as the rub goes, and just to kind of recap, um, we did use the John Henry's Texas brisket rub and the Bubba rub, both John Henry rubs, um, and they were very good. Uh, you know, really the the beef flavor came through quite a bit. The rub was not too overpowering, so uh, overall, I would definitely recommend it. Great rub. Um, great value those large uh, you saw the rub in the video earlier you know that large container was only eight dollars so you get a, a really good amount of rub for for your dollar so I would definitely recommend looking out for them um, all in all though my first run at a brisket I think went pretty good um, I think I would avoid the sun a little more next time uh, can't wait to hear all your comments about the uh, giant sunburn across my head and face but uh, I just wanted to say thank you again so much to all of you for tuning in, subscribing. Please make sure you comment, hit the like button. If you haven't hit the most important one, hit the subscribe button so you will get my new videos as they come out. I always appreciate everybody. Appreciate your comments. Until next time, see you later.